Dooley Noted, 8-5-2015. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here at the amazing Cattle Sport to teach you about propulsion, the hip does during propulsion, during gait and during activities. So propulsion is when on the back leg you're towing off, so you're pushing the hip into external rotation, extension, and abduction. These things are lateral rotation, like the glute max and the deep six. These are big players in that action. Hip extension, which is glute max and hamstring mediated. And being able to, to fully be able to pull the hip into that position is really pushed by the calf. Uh, the calf helps us to propel off the, the back foot, and uh, particularly the gastric medius, amazingly powerful during propulsion. Uh, there's a lot of sports that are very propulsive. Sprinting, anything that has to leap and push. So knowing what the hip should do relative to the thoracic is a pretty big deal. The foot's in what's called supination, so it gives you a nice little arch with the first toe, fifth toe planted, and the heel is in what's called inversion, where you push the heel towards the midline. Uh, the hip is actually moving away from the thorax. The thorax is moving more towards rotation to the left in my hip, and this hip is moving more to the right. So these things should uncouple. And this is hard for your athlete to do, to be able to uncouple these pieces. It can lead to hip pinching, excessive use of the calf during propulsion. So people can end up with calf strains, calf tightness during push-off. They can also end up with some hip issues, maybe even IT band syndrome, from not pushing off the back leg properly. So some ways that you can teach this is to actually teach propulsion, to be able to teach the hip to be able to do that, and for the thorax to uncouple. Um, if that's too difficult, you can regress into a half kneeling position. Half kneeling is one of my favorite. If you swing the leg backwards, it encourages the hip to externally rotate. So by, by externally rotating, I mean rotating to the outside, so rotating away from the line. So you move the hip outwards, yeah? The hip abducts, meaning it goes away from midline. It's kind of like being abducted by aliens. You go away from Earth. So you go away from your center. And then hip extension, which is not back extension. They're different. So you don't want to go into the back, but you want to go with the hip coming forward. There's only about 30 degrees of range of motion in that, so you don't have to excessively go backwards, but move right through the hip. I always tell people to shoot their pocket outwards like you have a bullet pointing out diagonally, and that really gets the hip open for propulsion. This takes the calf out, so if you wanted to encourage the calf to move, you're going to have to stand up or do an open chain event. So if you're open chain training, what you can do is a rolling pattern. For a rolling pattern, for propulsion, you're going to be on the belly. So if we're using the right hip, we're going to use the body going this way. And my thorax is going this way as my hip opens up. So my thorax stays to the right. And I move my body over to the right as I'm pushing my thorax to the left to uncouple those actions. What this can do is um, open up the obliques. Uh, if the obliques are the tight spot, then you want to look at my pendular stretches that are on the drdulynoted.com website and also on the Dr. Dooley Noted YouTube page. If the oblique is the tightness, that can really prevent you from uncoupling the thorax of the hip. You can also look at the rolling pattern as a separate unit during the crop and roll, which is also a video. But assessing propulsion is a very big deal for people that have this calf tightness. Doing open chain can get someone's calf to relax a little bit and teach and encourage the hip and thorax to move as a unit. You can also take the calf out by doing a little bit more half kneeling. Uh, but then you'll eventually want to incorporate it into a standing position where you're moving that hip into external rotation, abduction, and extension. And then you're equally moving the hip and the calf together, not one more than the other then learning how to uncouple the thorax, being able to push that to the side opposite of the hip is a huge deal. Try the rolling, try the pendular stretching, try the half kneeling. They're all gonna help you with propulsive events like sprinting, like jumping, like leaping. I hope this helps. This is gait propulsion for the hip involving the calf. And if you have more questions, we just keep them coming to Dr. Dooley Noted uh, and also to drkathydooley at gmail.com. Bye.